When you practice using the black swan techniques, you'll make more money, build better relationships. Hi everyone, I'm Don with the Black Swan Group. I'm gonna give you two very powerful tips to help you succeed. If you use these and get good with them, it will make you money, it will give you better interpersonal relationships, and it will greatly reduce your day-to-day -day stress at work. The first really effective tool I wanna to give you for dealing with difficult coworkers or difficult people in difficult conversations is appropriate apologies. People like to hear a sincere apology. And I don't want you to over apologize for every little thing. When you take responsibility, you are taking away a lot of the reason that you're getting attacked. When you say, I'm sorry, seems like I failed to be sensitive to something that's important to you. Or you say, I'm really sorry I made you feel that way. And you move on from there. These are the kinds of things that disarm your counterpart, that diffuse arguments and assertions from the other side. And often your counterpart will feel responsible because you've just apologized for something they caused and they'll know it. So use them, don't overuse them. When your counterpart feels or your coworker feels like they're triggered and they say something that maybe lands wrong with you, you can turn your conversation around by doing an appropriate apology, a sincere appropriate apology. I'm sorry, I'm probably interrupting your schedule. Something that lets them know that you're starting off your conversation with deference to them. It puts the responsibility on you for whatever went wrong. If your difficult coworker knows that they caused the problem, but you apologize for it, a lot of people will subconsciously feel like they owe you a debt. So apologies work for a lot of different reasons. Don't be afraid to use them. If you continue to apologize over and over again, you come off to your counterpart as weak, indecisive, or uninterested in the conversation. It almost seems like you just want out of the conversation. Overuse doesn't really build you toward a productive conclusion. A difficult coworker expects a certain reaction, especially if they come at you in an assertive way or a passive aggressive way. They expect a certain reaction to it. So when you apologize, you are putting them on a different path. They're expecting you to parry whatever attack they did on you with a counter argument. Instead, you've stopped, apologized, and now you turn on your curiosity and find out why they said what they said. It completely changes the dynamic of the conversation that you're in. That's the power of that apology. It interrupts their flow towards the negative and allows you to redirect with an asking label or a mirror to get your conversation back to where you're getting information from that difficult coworker. And that's gonna help you succeed, not just in this conversation, but long-term. You need to be careful that you control your tone when you're doing it, because if you do it too quickly, if you do it in a slightly sort of a clipped way, if you say, I'm sorry, what did you say? That can come off as an attack or a counterattack. So you want your apology to be in a good tone, nice and slow at a point in the conversation where you feel it necessary. Your intuition will tell you when an apology fits. You should strive to use the accommodator tone of voice, just the, the person you want to talk to kind of tone of voice 80% of the time. The analyst tone of voice, the low and slow or the late night FM DJ voice, the analyst voice you want to use about 20% of the time. And the analyst voice is really effective for apologies because what you do is you slow down and you say, I'm sorry, it seems like I've done something to offend you, or I'm sorry, I may have misunderstood what you said. When you do that slow and low like that, it causes your counterpart to perk up and listen because that tone of voice lets their intuition know that you're saying something important, something they need to pay attention to. In an accommodator's tone of voice, you're just going to keep that accommodator tone that you're using and walk right through an apology. So you might say, I'm sorry, I missed what you just said, or I'm sorry, I was trying to listen and I failed you. Something like that where your tone doesn't change into that low and slow, it just carries on with the conversation, but it'll have a, it'll have a positive effect on your counterpart because you're showing deference. As a hostage negotiator, there were a lot of different examples of times when people in actual crisis, not just difficult people, but people in actual crisis, an apology landed with them in a very powerful way because if you were talking to a difficult coworker or you're talking to somebody and they feel like they're in crisis or they feel like they are stressed, they're not expecting an apology especially if they're used to verbal sparring. There's a number of examples where a simple apology helps to start changing the direction of conversations. Different personality types might receive apologies a little bit different. An assertive personality, you have to be careful that they don't 
run over the top of you and try to get more apology or start beating you down because of your apology. But in truth, an apology to an assertive is a strong tool because they feel like they're in control. They feel that power. They have a need for you to work with them in a deferential way. For an accommodator, an apology might land different and cause them to almost reciprocate where they think that they might have offended you because you apologized to them. And then an analyst, for the most part, again, it's human nature to feel good when you're listened to, when you're heard and understood, and an apology communicates that to any of the personality types. The second thing that I want you to concentrate on, and this is probably as important as any of our other foundational things, is low stakes practice. All of our techniques, including dynamic silence, you have to practice every day. This is a perishable skill. If you practice them at the store, if you practice them at the coffee shop, if you practice them when you're just walking into the office before you're really doing any other thing, you are going to feel more natural with them. You're going to understand how they land with people. You're going to recognize the successes you get, even in low stakes practice, and you'll be able to use all of our other skills very effectively. Don't be afraid to slip these in every time you get a chance. Practice your listening and try to get good at it in every conversation. You will have a much easier time turning your curiosity on if you practiced it in your day-to-day -day activities. You'll learn how they land. You'll learn how they feel. You'll learn what obstacles prevent you from doing them effectively so that you can overcome them. Black Swan skills are a perishable skill. Without that daily practice, you'll find yourself in a difficult conversation and you won't have the tools or they'll sound forced or you'll spend so much energy trying to listen or trying to be curious because you don't do it well because you haven't practiced it that you'll lose the beat of the rest of the conversation. Practicing your apologies, know that you can apologize even if the other person isn't offended. You can apologize if from their reaction, from their facial expressions, it looks like they might have a question or it looks like you might have failed to cover something that they needed to talk about. Anytime you're in a social conversation, you can find a spot to practice an apology and see how it lands. See how it works with different kinds of people, different personality types. There is so much more that you can use in dealing with your difficult coworkers, your difficult boss, your difficult subordinates, even customers in the workplace. There are so many other tools that the Black Swan Group can give you. And if you're interested in getting better, if you're interested in less stress at work, go to the Black Swan website, sign up for some of our training, look over the newsletter and the other resources that are available to you, and use every day to perfect your craft. When you practice using the Black Swan techniques, you'll make more money, build better relationships. So remember, appropriate apologies and low stakes practice. Even practice your appropriate apologies. They're important and it'll make you better. Thanks, everybody.